What we do in uh, animal assisted therapy is we integrate the animals, mostly the horses, into the counseling process for uh, conditions like anxiety, depression, PTSD, ADHD, things like that. For many, traditional therapies might not be the answer. For one family, they found solace in Tulsa. It's definitely different than talk therapy. I've been in talk therapy and like you get a lot of pressure put on you in talk therapy, but here like you have an animal to support you and you don't like talk about all your problems. You kind of like talk about like a little bit and then you go on and like you have a horse with you, which is always nice. Tulsa has been really great to her and um, I have noticed uh, that she's um, a little more optimistic about the future and also starting to show some signs where, you know, like letting go of the things that she can't control. Vandenhoek is aware that with uncertain times, the anxiety might be heightened more than usual. Well, I think the anxiety that comes with any change in uh, our world um, is a big deal, especially for people who are already challenged with managing their anxiety. Um, changes are often very difficult for them to navigate and I think the horses and the animals uh, help people to regulate their emotions and deal with those stresses. It's definitely like nice to have an animal with you so and there's not really that much pressure put on you because you can release all your like feelings to the horse and the horse can also feel your feelings. Blue Rain Ranch has implemented measures for the safety of their clients. So we've done a number of things. Um, we've spaced our sessions uh, further apart so that there's no contact between clients. Um, we've uh, implemented measures that require clients to uh, hand wash when they come and when they leave. Um, between clients we wipe down all our equipment, we try to sanitize everything, we wipe down the office. Uh, Marvin has implemented some very effective measures and uh, we do keep the, the six foot uh, barrier and uh, when we are here, you know, Liam and I, my son and I, uh, we just go play outside, maybe throw the football around or something. For Bridge City News, I'm Loris Alexander.